All I want you to take away from this video is what is the big fear we have when we procrastinate? It's that I won't do what's required. So let me ask you, what is your biggest fear in terms of your life, in terms of the things you want to accomplish? It's a big question. Now, many people have answered in, in different ways. I have an answer. Uh, it's my own answer. Maybe it's the wrong answer, but it's an answer that I have found to be very, very effective and uh, insightful. Insightful and useful. So this question is about the fear that we have when we are delaying things and avoiding and not fulfilling our potential and what's the real fear that's holding us back so again it's about procrastination and it's this one starts off it says I've been working on my feelings and thoughts about my productivity for a while now this person has, has watched a few a few of my past videos where I talk about the importance of looking at your intention and doing some inner work and journaling and trying to figure out what's going on underneath the uh, underneath the surface but I've come to a block and I need to, I need help understanding it. I've heard a lot of people talk about how procrastination is caused by the fear of failure. People do talk about that. And it is a fear. But uh, we'll read on here before I say any more. However, I think I've come to terms with the prospect of failure. I mean, I think I'd be okay with it so long as I was able to give my all. And I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. However, I feel I'm not giving my all, and this leaves me feeling so bad inside. It's affecting my confidence, and I usually feel regret and disappointment with myself at the end of each day. So there's the guilt and shame. They're the main drivers of this. If it's not the fear of failure, what is, what is it that's holding me back? So what is it? So again, it's not the fear of failure. Most people acknowledge, as this person here has, and I'm so glad to see that you're doing the inner work on this because it, it will mean that you're just gonna blast through this issue very, very quickly because that's all it needs is acknowledgement and it needs the insight that you are totally capable of getting. And it's so great that you're reaching out and you're reaching out to me and maybe you're asking other people about this, I hope so. Acknowledge this issue and you get through it. But it's not the fear of failure because I'll tell you why. This is the question I always ask people to, to highlight what the big fear is. Think of that goal you're working on. You know, imagine if I could wave a magic wand and it could mean that now I can guarantee you magically somehow that you are now going to take all the action required for you to achieve your absolute potential in this. Now, I'm not guaranteeing you when I wave the magic wand that you will be successful, but I will guarantee you that you will do your absolute best and achieve your personal potential in this thing that you're interested in. Most people say, when I, when I ask them that, they say, yep, sign me up for that. I, I really wouldn't care all that much. Or maybe I'd, I'd care a little bit, but at least I'd feel totally good about myself because I know I've reached my own potential. Now, what does that point to? That tells us what is the big fear. It's not failure. The big fear is that I won't do what's required. I feel insecure and I feel afraid that I won't have the resources or I'll sabotage myself or I'll just put it off and I'll delay it and I'll avoid it. We don't trust ourselves to engage and to fulfill our potential. So your biggest fear is that you won't do what's required. Now what happens then, because that fear is there, when that need to take action comes closer and closer and closer, and that fear is there, anxiety. Anxiety starts to gradually build the closer we get to taking action. Maybe you're nodding your head and thinking, yeah, I, I can recognize that, that makes sense for me. Procrastination, which is to say, oh look, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, is just a way for us to relax because of that anxiety. Now it doesn't work. And if we keep engaging in the procrastination, well, later on down the line at some point, all that fear and anxiety will come up again, just bigger. So it just delays the anxiety. It never actually ends the anxiety. 
what I'm interested in doing here with, with people I'm working on with and on procrastination is helping people end the root cause of the anxiety. Okay, procrastination. The problem with procrastination is it works. It does allow us to allay feeling of anxiety. Well, look, I can do it later. But fortunately, it builds up a lot of indecision, indecisiveness, and it doesn't help our self-esteem. And later on, it just means the anxiety is going to come back in a bigger form. What I tell people is to use the fear that you have. So now that you know what the fear is, I won't do it. Now you can actually use that and leverage that fear into propelling you forward in your goal instead of it holding you back. So you're going to actually start to use this fear more. You're going to start to take full conscious control of this fear and you're going to start using it for yourself. Now, people that go to a psychologist often, the psychologist will get them to talk about their fear and they'll do things like exposure therapy. They're exposing them to the fear, maybe gradually, to the point where they're actually moving towards the thing that makes them afraid. Okay. Now, for us, the thing is, well, not doing the thing, not engaging with it. So what I tell people to do is take that fear and now you have control of it and amplify it. Amplify that fear so that it is the consequence, but you have to control it rather than it being a reactive, passive thing that just happens, which is what happens in procrastination. The not doing it is just passively happening. We don't feel like we're in control of it. So amplify it. Not doing the thing is now something you're going to control and by that all I basically mean here is if you notice you've procrastinated the fear is well now I'm going to remove myself from this for the rest of the day it won't happen now I know I'm not going to do it now because I've procrastinated once and the consequence is that's my sign to remove myself from this goal now okay and now nothing is going to happen for the rest of the day on this but I'm going to decide that rather than in this pattern of delay, delay, delay. Okay, maybe several times every day. Just remove yourself from it and say, oh, look, I'll try again tomorrow. But bring an awareness then that I'm using this fear because the next day you go back and if you're serious about that, you will realize I either take action when I say I have to take action and you become more mindful of when you are going to start. You give yourself plenty of relaxation time. You start taking care of yourself. Self-care becomes important. Positive rewards. Non-negotiable non fun is set into your, into your calendar. You start to realize I have complete control over this. I determine when I engage and when I don't and what I'm going to put up with and what I'm not going to put up with. What I'm enabling myself to do self-sabotaging myself like this and what I'm not going to enable myself to do. We're, going, we're almost like enabling ourselves with this pattern of, of procrastination. So use that fear. All I want you to take away from this video is what is the big fear we have when we procrastinate? It's that I won't do what's required. Now that you know that, how are you going to use it? How are you going to use that to drive yourself forward? That's a big, big secret in procrastination. And once you figure that out, you won't do it anymore. If you'd like to learn more about this, visit my website. The resources are there for you to put this issue behind you entirely. Or if you have just a question for me that you'd, you'd like feedback on, you can contact me there as well. Thanks so much for watching, folks. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.